I'd like to read a statement um, of the events that happened in the city last week. This is the appropriate time to address last week's well-publicized events that took place in Miami's Capital Improvement Projects Department. As you know, 11 city employees were arrested, and if the charges that were filed by the state's attorney's office against them prove correct, then these unscrupulous public servants conspired over time to fraud fraudulently use their workday and the city's resources for personal gain with the taxpayers picking up the tab. It is understandable that we are appalled to learn of such an organized scheme that has reportedly cost Miami's much needed capital improvements program untold millions in stolen time and in construction delays. But despite the outrageous behavior of these people, this episode becomes a positive one for Miami as we recognize the honor the integrity and courage displayed by Mayor Diaz, City Manager Pete Hernandez, and Chief of Operations Mary Conway in their oversight and dogged pursuit of the illegal activities and by their speaking out publicly and unequivocally that it really is no longer business as usual in Miami. Public servants have an obligation to do what is best, what is in the best interest of the people they serve, in this case, the taxpayers and residents of the city of Miami. The arrests send a clear message that when you betray that trust, you will be caught, you will face prosecution, and you most likely will go to jail. Mayor Diaz has stated that he has a zero tolerance for fraud within the city. If the allegations of the premeditated corruption are proven correct, then his administration will be remembered by history as the one who cleaned up Miami. Corruption in government has been around since the foundation of Rome. It is kept in check with consistent internal audit controls and good management oversight. This board can do no less than to commend the current administration for its diligence and to encourage more of the same. Thank you.